Um, hi. So I'm just going to do a little video tutorial based on a do-it-yourself threads guide to fanciful feather trims. Uh, what we're doing is a white trim on a white dress, but uh, among the first couple of steps that they don't mention is to sort your feathers into feathers you probably won't use or won't exactly fit your project and into should you need sizes. So the trim I'm doing is kind of a two layer trim with long and short feathers, hence the piles. And the, they suggest using either tissue paper or a bias tape or fashion tape to adhere your feathers to. I'll be using bias tape, uh, half inch bias tape. And what you do is you have it with the uh, finished side facing down against whatever you're laying out your feathers on. And I have pinned it down using uh, straight pins so that the tape doesn't move. And if any of you are wondering what this little white piece is, it's uh, wood with a veneer on it. I'm not telling you how I got the wood. <laughs> but for any feather trim, you need to decide how it's going on your garment. What's that pile over there? Oh yes, this is the long feathers. This is the short feathers. And these are the sad little feathers that aren't going to work. Sad. Sad feather. And then there's a little pile over here for the fun ones. This is mine. All mine. Alright. So, with your feather trim, you want to make sure you lay your feather down so that at least a quarter of an inch of the base where it starts to get fluffy gets sewn down. The reason you do that is, you know, if you just pierce this base quill, it's not really going to hold your feather. So, you lay out your feathers, roughly. I'm laying down the long feathers first, because uh, when we actually sew this to the dress, these long feathers are going to be behind these uh, fluffy little feathers. So I'll just do some fluffy ones real quick. Uh, and for this particular project, this two-layer trick adds some nice volume to our hem. And I have done uh, several feet that I can show you. It's all piled over there. Yeah, it, it's a little pile here. So this is maybe three inches of feather. And what they advise you to do is to use tape. Uh, scotch tape will work, but scotch tape is one use only. You could also use cheap painter's tape. Painter's tape will give you two, maybe three uses before you have to cut a new strip. It's gentle on the feathers. So it's not going to tear off too much of it, but you will lose some if you look at this tape. You can see the little strips. I've used this one, this section once, from a, a big roll. You can get it literally anywhere. This is from Walgreens. No, that's from eBay. Oh, eBay? Okay. Yeah. Well, anywhere, even Walgreens. So I cut this piece in half. So I got a double long. And what you do is you lay it down on top of the base of your feathers. But not, you don't want to completely overlap your bias tape and you want to push this painter's tape into the crevices between your feathers. Uh, the reason you do it is because as I found out, if you just lay it over the top and then push it in, it doesn't quite work. You end up with feathers more or less held together by the tape, if not also held by the fabric. Now let me just take a small moment to unravel this a little bit and get a single layer. Okay, there's my end. So here is the finished feather hem as suggested by the guide. So after you have created your feather fabric trim, you would then take this and with care to which is your finished edge, sew it to your garment. That way you'll be stitching your feathers down twice 
or even three times. And it'll be beautiful, secure, and you can dress up any garment. Uh, the next step after arranging your feathers would be sewing them down and I'll probably show you that after I get the rest of this feathered up. Alright, so sorry, I had to adjust the settings again. So, as you can see the bias tape has come loose of the painter's tape, but the feathers are sticking to your painter's tape, which is what we want. So when you sew, whatever your standard stitch is, uh, they suggested making it a little smaller. So on this machine, uh, the default setting for the uh, straight stitch is 2.5. Let's see I, if I could come over here and right. film this. Yeah, so you can see on the Singer, the default is 2.5. I took it down to 2.0. The finer the stitch, the more uh, stitches there will be to hold your feather in. Also, uh, you want to stitch slowly. These, the quills of a goose feather are pretty thick and if you're not in control of the needle and the feathers and the bias tape your feathers will clump and roll and you'll have to do a lot of repairs after the fact. So, just show you a little bit of that sewing. Oh, yes. I don't know if you saw that but this feather here started to roll so what you do is, right when it's uh, a maybe a quarter of an inch in front of your needle, put your fingers on the quill under your tape, put the fingers on the vein of it on the other edge of your foot, and gently apply pressure with care to your, to your needle, because you don't need to crush your fingers, until you pierce or bookend the feather and then it's secured. And you just continue this process and don't worry if you uh, pierce your bias tape, your uh, painter's tape or scotch tape or whatever you're using because it's meant to be peeled away and uh, I've decided I'm throwing away this segment after this set of feathers because it's very fuzzy. My battery is about to die. Alright. Well, that's about it. So that's the stitching, the sewing, you have your extras. If I end up needing, thinking of something to show in later, I probably will have a cert inserted in the, in the back end. Um, so yeah, that's about it for your fancy feather trim. Google will have other tutorials if you have something more specific, such as, you know, making your own dress. You could use fashion tape and iron it in or sew it in, or hand sew it in if you're just doing, you know, the hem of a skirt. But since we're doing a large product uh, project, uh, a wedding dress with a small train. We're going with this bias method. Anything can, can be used. You can even use fashion ribbon to finish the edge of your feathers. Just be careful of the feathers. Use a complementary thread and that's all you need. So I uh, hope you found this useful. There might be other videos like this in the future or not. There probably will be. And I hope you have a fabulous day sewing. See ya!